Hey PCPs, it's Zong and we're back for day 9 of our 30 days of healthy eating and living. Today I'm sharing a simple weeknight meal that was inspired by my childhood weeknight meals. It's a Vietnamese fusion dish that's super simple. You guys wanted low carbs, so today we're not having any carbs, but it's gonna be full of vitamins, protein, and good stuff. So hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more easy, healthy meal inspirations, and we'll go ahead and get started with this stuffed bell pepper Vietnamese zoodles dinner. So first, we're gonna work on our meat filling. Here I have one pound of ground turkey, Typically, Vietnamese food would use ground pork, but that has a lot of fat, and I tend to use ground turkey a lot more often at home, so that's what I'm using. I have a pound of it here that I'll add into my mixing bowl. Then I'll add two cloves of minced garlic, a quarter cup of cilantro. If you guys don't like cilantro, you can totally sub for green onion. I know people either love or hate cilantro, so which team are you on? Do you like it or do you hate it? A quarter cup of minced shallots. Shallots are a cross between a red onion and a garlic, I think, and it's typically used in a lot of Vietnamese cooking. If you don't have shallots, then you can totally just sub for a red onion. I like using this because the oniony flavor is a lot more mild. I always have it on hand since I'm always cooking Vietnamese food. All right, now here comes the zung twist. I have three tablespoons of quick oats. I know what you're thinking, Vietnamese food doesn't use oatmeal or breadcrumbs or anything like that, but I thought that this would change the texture of the meat filling. Um, it's usually kind of tough, and if my grandma or mom were to make this, they would add wood ear mushrooms or vermicelli with the clear bean thread, but that's super complicated, and not everyone has access to that, so I decided to change it up to use oatmeal. I'll add it into our bowl one egg to bind everything together. And then for our seasoning, two teaspoons of fish sauce and a little bit of black pepper. I'll break open the egg yolk and then we'll mix everything together with our spatula. You want everything to be totally combined and if the spatula is not doing the job, go in with your hands because it's the best tool which I'm gonna do. This dish that I'm making totally reminds me of my childhood. My grandma and dad used to stuff everything with like a meat mixture like this. They would stuff bell peppers, Roma tomatoes, cabbage, sometimes even tofu. And just, I love the simplicity of a Vietnamese weeknight meal. I haven't had that in so long since my dad passed, but just having like a three course meal, what they would do is like a simple meat dish like this, stuffed in something, or they would stir fry it, a veggie dish, and then like a soup dish with rice. Okay, this looks good, so now I'm gonna show you how to stuff it. Today I'm using bell peppers. So here I have two bell peppers. Depending on the size of your bell pepper, you can probably stuff three to four of these. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that yellow and orange bell peppers make up to almost 600% of your vitamin C's a day? That's amazing. If you guys are having a cold or feel one coming on, eat bell peppers. So I'm gonna cut the bell peppers in half and I'm gonna leave two humps on the side here so that the meat can sit nicely in there. I'll de-seed the bell peppers. And now with a spatula or spoon, I'm gonna go in with the meat and stuff the bell peppers. Make sure that the meat goes into all the little nooks and crannies. So since the meat tends to shrink when you cook it up, I'm just gonna overfill the bell peppers all the way to the top, and then some. Smooth out the edges. And this looks perfect. Here I have a large skillet. So many of you guys asked me where I got this skillet and it's 
actually a gift, but I'll link it in the description box below. This is one of my favorites from Le Creuset and it's 3.5 quarts. Anyways, I have it heated up on medium high heat and now I'll add a drizzle of oil. Then taking my stuffed bell peppers, I'll put the meat side down. I'm only gonna cook two at a time because I don't want it to overcrowd and steam. You want it to develop a nice brown crust, but be careful not to burn. I'll cook it on each side for about 10 minutes. Be sure to check it to make sure that it's not burning because cooking it face down like this, can you're at risk to let it burn. All right, this looks good. The sides look semi-cooked. And now I'm gonna flip it over and cook it for another five minutes to finish it off. Ah, look at that beautiful crust. So once you've flipped it over, feel free to turn up the heat back to medium high heat because you kind of want to caramelize the bell peppers. These look good, so now I'm going to transfer it into the plate, make our sauce, and finish them off. Okay, so next step, I'm using another shortcut. Here I have my favorite marinara sauce that I'll add into the skillet. It'll help deglaze the pan, but also we're gonna use this for our zoodles. Typically, a Vietnamese household would chop up a ton of tomatoes and then use that as the base, but I like using the tomato sauce or marinara sauce because it's already flavored and it's easier. I'll add it to my skillet, add a few dashes of fish sauce, and since I like it spicy, a few dashes of red chili pepper flakes. I'll add my bell peppers back into the skillet and let it finish simmering for five to 10 minutes. Make sure that the meat is thoroughly cooked and if you need to speed up the process, go ahead and cover it. So here I have my handheld zoodler. I love this one cause it's so easy just to like zoodle directly into my plate. With my zucchini, I'll just cut it in half, and I'm ready to zoodle. Every so often, I just like to pull it apart because you don't want your zoodles to be too long because it's a little more difficult to eat. This is actually too long, so I'll just break it in half. And I like to make my zoodles raw. How about you guys? If you guys wanted it to cook, you can totally just saute it for a minute or two. But this is a great option to go no carb or low carb. You guys have asked me to do that, so here you go. Growing up, a dish like this, we would be eating it with rice. So I like the departure from the traditional meal. Ah, it smells so good. We're ready to plate our dish. The bell peppers have finished cooking, so I'm just gonna take one, put it right on top of the zoodles, And then I'll just add a little bit of sauce on top of the bell peppers. Let it spill onto our zoodles too. All right guys, let's dig in. Let me cut this open for you. Get some sauce in there. I'll grab some zoodles. I love the freshness from the zoodles and then the bell peppers. The bottom is perfectly caramelized and the meat. It's like a Vietnamese meatball. I love this dish. It's like a modernized, traditional Vietnamese dish. Mm. Tell me how you guys would enjoy this. If you guys don't like bell peppers, which I highly recommend you try, you can totally stuff it in tomatoes or cabbage or just eat the meat patty as is like a burger. I hope you guys like this recipe. Be sure to give it a try, and if you do, tag me on Instagram at honeysucklebees. Tomorrow, we will be making a healthy chicken noodle soup with a twist, because everyone's getting sick around me, and I feel like chicken noodle soup is what we all really need. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!